Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a lot of team up news. Seriously, there's like a lot to get to today. We need to jump into this fairly quickly. The folks over at magicmadhouse.co.uk have put up pre orders for all of their team up stuff. We know the free pack blister promos, we know the one pack blister promos, we know the theme deck Pokemon, and we need to have a chat about this as soon as we possibly can, which is now. Although, although I haven't confirmed this yet, I have heard that these images were taken from pokebeach.com. So although I found them on Magic Madhouse, I do believe the source was pokebeach.com. That's what some people have told me based on the blue border around them. So starting off then with the theme decks, we got Charizard and Blastoise. And I never predicted this anywhere. But these were the sensible predictions to be made. We generally get pairs of Pokemon with these theme decks. And it makes perfect sense. These are two of the three first partner Pokemon from Kanto. And there is no Venusaur in Team Up. Now there is a Celebi and Venusaur Tag Team GX. But there is no actual Venusaur itself. So you can pop a Charizard in the set and a Blastoise. And they really do make the most sense coming up as these theme deck Pokemon. And they're both really good. Now, I like the Blastoise. The Blastoise is good. 160 HP. I should mention, I've done videos about all these Pokemon I'm mentioning. I will pop links to all of them in the description of this video. So if you want to know more about any of these Pokemon, great news. I'll hook you up in the comment section. The ability for Blastoise says that once during your turn, you may look at the top six cards of your deck and choose as many water energies to find there and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. Now, we have got the combination of Naganadal and Quagsire for water decks at the moment, but Blastoise is still a very good Pokemon of a very good ability. As for the attack, free water energy, 150 damage, 30 to yourself. It's not quite enough because with a choice band, you'll get stuff up to and including Rayquaza, but there's plenty of Pokemon like the 190 HP Boswell and the 210 HP Zoroarks that you're not getting. And that's before we get up to the big boys like Gardevoir with 230 HP or even Metagross with 250. So I like Blastoise, but I don't think it's stunning. Charizard, on the other hand, I do think is stunning. And I think Charizard has the potential to be a phenomenal Pokemon. The ability says once during your turn, you can put two damage counters on it. And then search your deck for two fire energy and attach them to Charizard. Then you shuffle your deck. And then for a minimum two energy, 30 damage, discard all fire energy attached to Charizard. 50 more for each energy discarded. This is good. Firstly, it means you need to worry about evolving up, but you don't need to worry about the energy. Yes, Blastoise can get energy on itself, but it's not a guarantee. Whereas with Charizard, it is. If you attach one energy from your hand to Charizard and use the ability, all of which is easily done in one turn, you discard all three of them, you do 180. Which means of a choice band, you're getting Zoroark on down. And if you want to get something like a Gardevoir, just add on a fourth energy. The fact that we've got a Lola Ninetales nowadays, which really has made Stage 2 decks viable again, the fact that it's got an ability which fuels itself, and the fact that it can get up to really big numbers, makes me think this is a genuinely viable Pokemon. I like these theme deck Pokemon. In terms of the free pack blisters, we've got Deoxys, and we've got Ultra Necrozma, both of which were promos over in Japan again. Links in the description to those videos. Now, Deoxys I like quite a lot. The ability says, once during your turn, you may move one energy from one of your Pokemon in play to your Deoxys. It does not have to be this Deoxys. It could be the attack form Deoxys, which was the best one that came out of Forbidden Light. Sorry, Celestial Storm. And that's possibly a better one. But this works well with Naganadal, it works well with Malamar, because essentially you put the energy anywhere you like, and then you can move it over. It's a good ability. 
Then you add in the attack that does 100 damage for free energy. And that's a one-hit KO on something like a Buzzwall GX. There is an argument that in terms of non-GX psychic Pokemon, you'd be better off using something like Giratina that hits for 130, as well as having the Nuts ability that places one damage counter on each of two bench Pokemon when you get it back from the discard. So I don't think this is as relevant as it was when it was first revealed, which was a little while ago now. But the fact that the ability allows you to power it up from whatever's on the field really does make me like this Deoxys. It's a good card. But I'm probably more of a fan of the Ultra Necrozma here. Now, this was a really expensive card in Japan because it was only given out of the Japan Championships. And now it's just been chucked in our free pack blisters. This happens quite a lot. The Umbreon and Espeon Prime which were in the Heart Gold Soul Silver block, they were promos in Japan that you had to, I believe, get points and then send off. They were hyper rare. And trying to find sealed Umbreon and Espeon Primes at the moment is extremely difficult and expensive over in Japan. Whereas for us, they were just chucked in our set, which is a little bit rude. So this does happen sometimes. As for Ultra Necrozma, two Psychic, two Metal Energy. If both players have six or fewer remaining prize cards in total, you discard all energy to this Pokemon and do 200 damage. Doing 200 damage flat out is awesome. And this could fit into something like a Malamar deck. Having to have a second Metal Energy is awkward. And this could fit in a Magnezone deck, but having to have the second Psychic Energy is a bit awkward. The energy cost here is kind of annoying, because you can essentially accelerate one of these, but not the other. And that does get, and I suppose if you're playing Malamar and Magnezone, you're golden, but that does seem over the top. But still... 200 damage flat on a single prize basic Pokemon, that has got to be worth investigating. These two Pokemon, the Deoxys and the Ultra Necrozma, they're not stunning have to play them Pokemon, but they are good promos that were released in Japan a while ago, and I for one am very glad we have them now. Now, in terms of the one pack promos, these were actually released in a very fancy special Japanese set a while ago, and heads up to Primal Lugia for shouting this out, it was in the Mimikyu Pikachu box. I know, right? And we haven't got them, and we're finally getting them. Now, as for the Mimikyu, I'm going to be honest with you, the Mimikyu isn't particularly great. What we have is essentially Mimic, the first attack, which is just a copycat as an attack, Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw as many cards as your opponent has. And then for a fairy colorless, 20 damage, flip a coin if heads it does 40. This is by far the worst of these six cards we're mentioning in this video. But the Pikachu has Nuzzle. And I told you we were getting a Pikachu with Nuzzle. And so many people said, no, we're not getting a Pikachu with Nuzzle. It's not happening, Wossy. We're not getting Nuzzle Pikachu. Yeah, they're getting it in Japan, but we're not getting it. Well, we are, ladies and gentlemen. And this is absolutely crucial. We need Nuzzle Pikachu. Because we've got Pachirisu. And Pachirisu lets you search your deck for one lightning energy and attach it to each of your Pokemon in play with Nuzzle. So you've got to have some nuzzlers. No nuzzling Pikachu, you can't use this. And remember that Raichu GX does more damage for each energy that is on the field. So if you're playing Raichu, you need to get energy on the field. If you're getting energy on the field, you want to use Pachirisu. And if you want to use Pachirisu, you better have a nuzzling Pikachu. And we have a nuzzling Pikachu. But also in Team Up, we're getting the new Amolga, whose ability says that once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon with Nuzzle and put it into your hand. This is by far, by far, the best Pikachu we are going to have. Now, incidentally, it's Flip a Coin if Head's Paralysis, but no one actually cares what Nuzzle does. It'll buy you a turn occasionally, and that's kind of cute, but that's not why we're playing it. And then the second attack, 
does 30 damage, and I think it self-damages. It's not terribly important, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever use that second attack, something has gone very wrong. But none of that matters. We've got a nozzle Pikachu. And quite frankly, I am delighted. Delighted. With all of the stuff we're getting here. I love that Charizard and Blastoise are coming in the theme decks. Partly because they're good cards and partly because it makes sense. I love that we're finally getting the Deoxys and Ultra Necrozma promos, and I love that we're getting the Nuzzle Pikachu. Honestly, the Mimikyu, I could take it or leave it, but the artwork's lovely and people like Mimikyu, so it does make sense. I think big up to Pokemon on this one. I think this is pretty gosh darn cool. But I want to know what you think about all of this news, so please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but I would please ask you to respect the most important rule. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays for some more Wassy action. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.